Hello guys, my name is Shitit Shah and I am working on the project of adding an AI assistant to the PIPI activity. So during these three months at Sugar Labs in the Google Summer of Code program, I've made a lot of progress and I'm here going to share you what I've done within these three months. So as I had mentioned earlier in the meetings that I have made a model, an AI assistant in Colab file. So here, this is the collab file where I'm using Llama 2 model. And this is a basically a RAG architecture, which I had used. And these are some of the outputs which are being produced by the model. Now, after developing the AI model, which would be generating code, correcting code, and even help the kids navigate through the Pygame and the GTK basics. So this was the basic purpose of this AI model and it's fully equipped with all these features, but it's uh, running on the collab file. So my task was to integrate this thing. So I need to run the model locally. So after which I uh, made a local model, which you can see here. So So this is a local model, which I had created local rag model. And here I am using the most advanced open source model, which is the Llama 3.1. And you can see how uh, well-defined and proper explanation. This is the code, which it has provided. This is the explanation and this is the output for the same. So you can see the accuracy of Llama 3.1 model is also too great. And another best part uh, of this uh, model is that I am using Olama. So Olama is basically a place from where you can uh, import or pull all the open source models. And uh, let me show you my code. So, hmm. so here you can really see I'm using Llama 3.1. So Llama 3.1 is a model which I had pulled from Olama. So not only Llama, you can uh, pull any other model which you want, like there are gamma models, or uh, Llama 2, Code Llama, lots of models, Mr. L, Bloom, like that. So you can pull those models from this O Llama website and download them locally and run them too. So this is the best part. Uh, this code actually gives flexibility to the users. So the users which would be contributing further uh, in Sugar Labs, they can change the models based on the requirements and even upgrade this AI assistant of the PIPA activity. So this flexibility uh, is given by Olama and hence I've used Olama for this. So the model which actually I'm using is Llama 3.1 and in that I'm using a RAG architecture as I mentioned. So this was the AI part after which I modified the UI of the PIPA activity where exactly the model was created from. So here you can view the UI, modified UI of the PP activity. So this was the chat icon and here on clicking this, a window is opening here as you can see. And here you can communicate with the chatbot. So, hi, can you give me example of how people so now you can see that uh, based on the question I have asked, the chatbot is generating a response. Yes, the currently the response is not uh, corresponding to the question because I have not yet integrated the AI model with the UI. Currently, AI and the uh, AI model and the UI is are separate entities. I would be integrating them uh, in the future. So this was the UI which I had made, and you can see that. The code terminal is also working great along with this UI. So all these things, uh, we had uh, our mentors had uh, helped us to design this UI, stating that it should be compatible for the kids to code along with the use, uh, along with the use of this AI assistant. And another best part is that you can, of course, copy paste the things which you want, just if in case there's some need arising. So this was another best part uh, which I had implemented. This was the basic features of the UI. Yes, I am still working on modifying the UI and enhancing as much as possible. Uh, so this was all about the UI part. Okay.
So this was the part which I had done in, within these three months uh, in which uh, a local rag has been created uh, which is using Llama 3.1 and this was the modified UI. Yes, I am still trying to optimize the UI as much as possible and I've started on the integration part of this Llama 3.1 model with this UI. Thank you.